And he's like looking at me in the interview. And I just was thinking, God, I wonder if he's like, wow, she's really fucking aged. Hey guys, welcome to the official YouTube page for Calm Down with Aaron and Carissa. This is where you can watch all of our ridiculous conversations and fun interviews. Mm -hmm. We have full shows, we've got pre-games, anything and everything that you guys could want. But first, you're going to have to subscribe. Just hit subscribe right there and you're good to go. And now you can calm down with us. Yep. Can you tell that we're reading this off a script? We hope so. All right. We need to calm down and wrap this bad boy up. Press subscribe. Thanks for listening. Calm Down with Aaron and Carissa is a production of iHeartRadio. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, girl. Hell, Hell yeah. yeah. You know what works for me? Welcome to our pregame, Hi. everybody. When I still have Whoa. the same slicked back do I oh, had yesterday, good. but my part is very sunburned. Wow. My hair is turning orange in the sun. Part of this it is. This is my hair from yesterday. <laughs> I've, you I've, really I've done hot a body yesterday. wash. I did a body wash because you know I can't Ooh. go to bed and get in a bed without a shower, but yep. I did not wash my hair because I'm trying me to be neither. better about not washing it every five seconds so it doesn't fall out. So whatever. A lot of damage. A lot of it damage. Yeah, what? you looked so hot yesterday. Oh, let's great. let's the dress was great. The bring it down. Was not great. We don't need Everything all that. was great. Um speaking of hot, you audibled out of that leather outfit, huh? Thank God it I did. It looks great. Red Rover, Red Rover send us both right over on a Sunday. I'm good with it, you know what I mean? But audible uh, out you couldn't do it. You were like, I'm not risking it. I that can't wait son, to see. We had this great shot. Uh, I did the 49ers hosting the Kansas City Chiefs game yesterday. Hail to the Chiefs. And um, we had a shot because the Chiefs didn't have a 10. Yeah. So I, I saw the offensive lineman, the backup, mm -hmm. standing in front of the guys. And I was like, what are they doing? Is someone going to the bathroom over there? No, they were shading that. It's great. It was so great. It was a great not, report. I, I haven't not ever seen that. Just sitting there taking it on. <laughs> What a guy. We're the Oakleys. He's great. Not Let's an talk ad, about it in the ad. big show. Because I do want to talk about him. I want to talk about um, oh, their show. team. I want to talk about our new best friend, Chris Jones, and mm -hmm. how we want him on our show. Get him over um, here. We'll talk about it in the big show. Let's do it. Um, all right. First up, we got Camber Schlag. I am sorry if I pronounced that wrong. If, you, if mm. your first name is Camber, that's a great first name. Really? I, I don't know if it's a, if it's first name or not, but it's cool. It's different. I like it. We haven't heard okay. about house and house in a while. Either have I. It's house and home, but I appreciate you inquiring. <laughs> Any new trends to share? Well, Camber, flag, Ooh, if that's I like your real this name. Question. I just came from a furniture store because I got a big project. Um, shout you out do? to my old boss, and I call her my second mother, Lisa Gregorich, who recently purchased a house and gave me the full full autonomy to design it. No. purchase anything I wanted because she's so used to me having to deal with $5 budget. She was like, so we have this house. You can do anything you Where? want. Um, I don't know if she wants me saying, so I won't okay. say it. Um, it's a place that we like. So I don't can know why it matters. Can we use it as a vacation home? It, uh, what? Mm -hmm. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah. yeah. So I designed it for us to vacation Hurry in, Hurry up basically. and get it done uh, so we can use it after Super Bowl. Don't worry. It'll be done next week because this is how yeah. my schedule goes. Because I have two days. I have Monday and Tuesday to install this house. So I've been coordinating all day today. The moving truck's picking up three different locations of stuff, getting it out to the location. I fly in Monday, which we'll have to talk about a podcast. Actually, I'll do it from there. Great. Great. Podcast Monday. Um, install the house Tuesday. Get on a flight. Tuesday night, fly to New York Wednesday. That's what we do. We're multitasking. So are there any new God, trends? You're great. I am, I don't know if, if trends are the things. I just, people ask like what my design style is. I very much uh, am a chameleon with design. I adjust the location of where the house is going. So if yeah. I was doing a house in Newport, Rhode Island, it's going to be coastal and think like, um, Elin Hildebrand novel style where you're going Whoa. Cape Cod look like um, Ralph Lauren nautical. If I'm designing a house in Santa Barbara, it's going to be California coastal and whimsical and think Rosewood Hotel. So I design based on the location and the individual I'm designing for. So that doesn't really answer your question, Camber, what kind of trends. I just think this, I always go back to spend the money on the things in the areas that you're in the most, your bedroom and your living room. So mm. don't chintz on a couch, don't chintz on a bed, don't chintz on sheets, all that kind of stuff. You spend the most time in your bedroom and your living room 
bathroom. So put the money there. And also your powder room. Your guest bathroom is so important. That is where your mm. guests are going to go more than any other room. They're not snooping around in the guest rooms unless they're staying over. But your right. powder room, make that sexy. Can I ask, how do you try out furniture before you buy it? Because it's not like you're able, oh, we've got a couple of great ideas. It's not like you can go to all these stores. Yeah. I I'm really up, worried about that kind of stuff. I end up going with the brands and the stores that I know. Like I buy know. a ton of stuff from HG Buttercup, Coco Republic. Like, and you can that's a store you can actually go in and sit on the couches and try the things. But yeah, yeah I end up buying a lot from the same places that I've already purchased from because I know what I'm getting. And then as far as design goes, like mix and match. So you don't just feel like you bought a showroom of a furniture store. Buy the furniture, then go to an antique store and find like little pieces that are old and have a story and sort of yep. make it feel like it's curated, not like you just are like ripped out a page from Pottery Barn or something. I love that. Thank you. You're up, babe. Okay, let me refresh my computer. Anonymous, yes. Christmas with the in-laws. Ooh, and when, they, okay, wait. Christmas with the in-laws when they guilt trip to get their way. Hubby sides with his mom. Help. Okay. You want me to take this one? Um, I'm going to take this one um, to start us off with. <laughs> um... Let me think about this. <laughs> I, this is, uh, go ahead. Since I have in-laws, you do, I, mm-hmm. and Jared has in-laws, it's a really hard position to be in when, yeah, it's your family. And mm-hmm. I, I think holidays are super hard because everybody has the way they like to do holidays. Yeah. And I, even though I'm close to being 50, which is psychotic, and uh, there's nothing wrong no, with you're being 50. No, you're still four years away from being 50. Knock um, it off. Okay. That's almost half well, a decade away. Oh. <laughs> she that's going like to be my new I'm and a half. so close to being 50. <laughs> no, stop. Lynn asked me today when I was getting my nails done. She said, you 34? I said, mm, reverse Plus those. Six. 42, almost the inverse of that. Okay, sorry, go ahead. God. No, it's fine. Vita Vea questionable for tonight. Um, I just, Kitty. it is hard. I unfortunately have the problem, like with anything, any tradition that my family started, no, this is the way it has to I be. Know. And I find it not even with in-laws, like with your husband or, ex- you know, families. It's like when they have different ideas, it's like, no, 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 no. no. how we do it. But. I do think with anything, whether it's your own family or in-laws, and I've learned this from my girlfriends, once you start creating your own family, Hmm. it's how you guys do it. And then if everybody else wants to come in, they can, but this is how our family is going to do it. And to be honest with you, our family really has no choice because our holidays are all screwed up with sports. You're working Thanksgiving. You're working Christmas. So you're asking for advice. Mm, that's hard because you're saying that your hubby is siding with your mom. I think I would keep maybe hinting or saying, babe, this is about us and then bringing everybody in. What do you think? Oh, I think that's a great, I mean, I don't have in-laws, but um, I'll just call yes, Steve's dad and his mom, uh, some mom, Kathy, who's a freaking time. We saw them in Santa Barbara a couple weeks ago. Shout out to Steve and Kathy because I'm Shout obsessed out. with them. Hey, guys. They were in Santa Barbara. We had about five seconds to see them because we were coming down before we had to, I, we had to fly to Seattle. And the first time I see, uh, walking through the hotel lobby, they go, we're exhausted. We've been on a cruise. We're dancing every night. I get these people. 21 days on a cruise. They were in the middle of it. They are so fun. I can't even take it, honestly. That's awesome. But... um I really like what you said, though. It is about your, it's your family. You're the priority. I remember um, my dad saying one time that when he first started, like my parents first started their family, he was like, my priority is your mom, number one, and then you Mm -hmm. kids are two, three, and after that. And he's like, and my family is now way down here because this is my family unit and that's what I need to build. So, yeah, I think now if that doesn't work for you to say that anonymous, I would do something like this. I would say, hey, every other year, we have to make a compromise. We can do it one way your year, and then the next year, I get to do what I want to do and kind of alternate and have some sort of compromise because everything in a marriage, at some point, I'm sure, because I'm such an expert in it, is about compromise. You are. (coughs) LM Road, 79. You can only, bless you. Was that a sneeze? That was adorable. I Mine coming through. (laughs) Excuse me. Wow. Hi, we're back. You're adorable. Have you ever sneezed on air? No, but I almost had one the other or yesterday <sighs> for a highlight. And I went like this because it'll stop a sneeze. 
right oh, above, I right know above that. your lip. If you push on it, it'll stop a sneeze. And I thought I was going to have it. And then I thought to myself while I was stopping the sneeze, <laughs> wonder if I sneezed while doing the highlight, would I be like, sorry? Yeah, of course I would. You yeah. sneeze in threes? I do. That's so cute. Sometimes fours. Mm-hmm. I almost pulled a U and a Mac and wiped my nose inside my thing. Why oh, wouldn't yeah, you? Sure. You know, crazy not to. Uh, LM Road 79. You, I feel like this cutie has asked a question before, but I, I'm I excited that you're asking again. This is a very, again. very recognizable handle, yeah. if you will. You can only have one fast food restaurant for the rest Ooh. of your life. Which is it? You I know? had it on the phone with your husband the other night. You were at a rest. You were at a drive-thru when you're on the phone. No, we got mm-hmm. it DoorDash because we had an emotional night. We'll talk about that on the big show. Oh, you yeah. were working, so I had to call Steve. I had to find out about my nephew from Steve, and before I even talked to you about it, um, we had our first bloody know. accident in our house. But tell everybody since it's good, this is the the we're pre-game. Good. He's, he's good. okay, exactly. He's good, but we'll talk about the bloodiness. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Up. Well, you go since you know what the restaurant is. I don't know. Well, I would say Chick Fil A because I love it, and he says he's never allowed to eat that with you. Um, but I also am a McDonald's girl too. I love I'm a McDonald's, McDonald's girl. I, I love McDonald's. I love the fries. I love the Diet love Coke. It. We've talked about the ice and like mm-hmm. there's something different about a Diet Coke. Have you the seen straw. those challenges where people do blind taste tests with the Diet Cokes and you can tell if they're out of a bottle, the fountain drink, like which fountain no. drink? You haven't? I'll send you one. Mm-mm. It's really good. This girl nailed it. But then I'm like, did she really nail it or did she actually have tips? Like you can't see which. I would definitely know the difference between a Diet Coke and a bottle versus a fountain drink. So different. Sure. Um, McDonald's power ranking. McDonald's number one. Obviously, post hangover, I'll crush a quarter pounder and fries and maybe even throw in chicken nuggets. I don't care. Wait, where is that from? Quarter pounder is McDonald's. Yeah, Uh I love chicken nuggets. That's my number one thing. That's what I go for. And you dip that in that barbecue and sweet and sour. Forget about it. This is a horrible thing to say. I haven't even told you this yet. I have to go for my cancer checkup tomorrow, you know, because I have to go like once a year. I'll go with you. Um, I, yeah. It's you like always, to go by yourself, don't you? I You've do. You've said this before, I know. But no, if you but change your mind, I'm here for I, you. I always get so into my head and anxious. I have to go straight to a McDonald's. You and do. I either order, if it's the morning, I get a uh, sausage biscuit or I get like, yeah, nuggets and fries. Like it's my comfort food. You did after that after fertility too. Fertility, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I love you. Well, I'm sorry you have to do that tomorrow, but I'm proud of you for staying up on the checkup. Love as you. you don't need to remind anyone, but it is so important for you to go back and do those checkups. But I am here for you if you change your mind or I'll wait outside. I'll wait for you in the drive through Oh, yeah. Great. Meet you there. Okay. Uh, little, uh, it, how do you say is this Is it heifers? One? I don't know. I don't little know heifers. either. How do you make friends without sounding like you're hitting on them? Well, don't <laughs> call funny. him a heifer. Uh, if you call him a heifer, you won't be hitting on him. Um, <gasps> That's funny. I don't know. To be honest with you, I sound like I'm hitting on everyone, including me girls. Too. I'm like, oh, my God, you're so pretty. Or if mm-hmm. a guy hugs me, oh, my God, you smell so good. Your skin looks great. Totally. I feel like that is very much my personality to compliment somebody mm-hmm. right away. Um I won't if I'm not interested. I There's someone in my <laughs> life that throws a ton of compliments out there and you can tell that they're not real. Mm-hmm. Um, but I am very, very one that I sound like I literally am hitting on girls, guys, children, their mothers. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, you look fantastic. That little Olive and Scout outfit is really flattering for your diapered bomb. Like... You're I don't know. I don't know, you know how to answer right this, little heifers. Um, I think... Yeah, I was voted biggest flirt in high school, and that hasn't changed. I, I've talked about this before, but I had to ask Steve at one point. I was like, do you, like, get jealous of anything? Like, I'll just, like, compliment, same thing. I'll compliment anyone that's deserving of it. But yeah, sure. how do you make friends without sounding like you're hitting on them? I don't know. I guess that maybe I'm just, I feel like I'm my bullshit detector is, like, pretty good now. Same. It's, like, an, been through enough where you're like, you can tell the difference between someone that's shit. I'll tell you what I don't like. All right, here we go. I've worked retail. Okay. I know what you, I I know that when someone walks in the store, you need to say, oh, I love your top. I love Mm -hmm. your whatever. The other day I walked into a store and I I know your tricks, ladies. Okay. You're going to say like, I, I, you love this. You love that. I looked homeless. Okay. I don't need you saying I love those jeans. Okay. And then, and then this is what I love. You do have great jeans. Okay, she was like, I love your jeans. I go, and this is what I just was so happy to say this because they weren't expensive. I was like, Amazon, uh-uh. $10. I was really? Like, 
Yeah, they were Amazon. Those like barrel jeans or whatever. Anyways, I just was like, you don't have to feel like you have to compliment me when it's like, don't just throw the compliment out there. I know that you don't actually mean it. You just want me to buy those pair of shoes and I'm not going to buy those pair of shoes. Not today anyways. I never in my suitcase. Oh, Uh, um, also for the big show, Ryan, bag update. Bag update. Oh, God. Yeah. Got to talk about it. She, now what, She's going to end up in a chiropractor blaming me, saying that her back hurts because she's having to carry this I already feel like my bag. jaw is in a line because it was so heavy and I couldn't put what it like What does that have to my... do with the... Okay, save it. <laughs> um, again, because we're not answering the question. People know the difference between you actually yeah. wanting to be friends. Tune into the Miranda Lambert for... Oh, my God. Speaking of Miranda Lambert, did you get the boots? Yeah, did oh you? Oh my God. Miranda Lambert so sent us nice. the cutest cowboy boots, her collection at Boot Barn. I want to go get it. I'm going to run and get it. Uh, they are they so smell good. good. They smell so good. That's exactly what so I need. Good. To, I need to fucking bring it down a notch. I'm getting very excited here. They smelled great. They looked great. Are they great. going to the ranch? Of course they're going to the ranch. They might be going to the concert I'm going to tonight, you know? Get yeah. Up. Um, but she also wrote a sweet handwritten note. And I just got to tell you. Taylor Swift writing Dave Portnoy a handwritten note. I got to tell you, I a handwritten note. It's so nice. It's so freaking nice. People don't do it anymore. You no. do it when you send your you wear do stuff. It. And I'm just telling you, a handwritten you note goes do it. so far. So, Miranda, thank you for the boots and the sweet handwritten note. And now, you look hot on the album cover. Fantastic. So, Little Heifers, how do you make friends without sounding like you're hitting on them? You don't. Not from us. Sound like we're hitting on everyone. And I can sniff you out if you're giving me a compliment and you don't mean it. I got you. I know you. Yeah. The sales you don't associate at Saks trying to give me a compliment on my Amazon jeans. Maybe she actually liked him. Who knows? Uh, Melva Crave, how do you and Aaron get that beautiful glow? Well, lighting. Lighting is everything. Lighting is everything. Lighting. I also got to tell you, too, I used to be a gal, I've said this before, wore a lot of makeup because I had a lot of acne. I less is more like just tinted moisturizer a little mascara and some lipstick and unless like obviously tv is different you have to wear a lot more make i should say more makeup but as i get older i'm thinking less 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 i'm not really into that shine you know sometimes that people like the highlighter on the cheeks i can't get into that i just like something that's like dewy I was thinking of yesterday when I was talking to Patrick Mahomes post game I didn't get have a I didn't have a chance to speak with him pre game but it's four hours, sweating pretty good. We're just layering and layering the makeup on. I haven't seen him since last year. He's great. He walks up. Hey, how you doing? Hey. I was like, yay, I get you. All so much fun. Never see you guys. And he's like looking at me in the interview. And I just was thinking, God, I wonder if he's like, wow, she's really fucking aged. <laughs> because like, you know, caking on the You're makeup crazy. doesn't help when it was like wrinkles and fine lines. If I ever say fine lines again, ever hit me in the face. <laughs> oh my God. Um, but it doesn't help and it, it ages you. Plus, I'm tired. I'm sure I'm dehydrated and I'm standing there with a big smile on my face because it's the face of our league. And I'm like, ha, ha, yeah. You're- and I was like, he's probably thinking, this bitch is getting old. Anyways, he's great, but. Definitely what I was thinking about versus like my second question. So, because I, like I said, you like you said, you have to put on makeup if you're on television. I'm like, I know I look 147. I right can't now. handle and you. Sweaty. I honestly, I, I can't handle you. I doused myself okay. with perfume well, too. Well, since doused myself in the spirit. Because they stunk. Of course. You I know went, what? I douse myself before I go to the green room and I'm only upstairs because you know what I don't need? I don't need to go in there and be like ripe. Okay. I have, we have a phobia about smells. So, you know, my so new bad. move, I don't, have, I don't have my bag down here, but I go like this, the bag handle, like, uh, you know, now that you carry a tote. Sure. The yes, bag I, handle I'm well here, aware. the perfume is in the bag and I just pretend like I'm looking in there and <laughs> shh, shh, shh. So it's a lot right on the chest area. But then when you hug someone, so then Stray, I hadn't seen Stray, give him a big hug. And I thought to myself, yeah, he's thinking CT smells great today. That vanilla, the vanilla Tom Ford working. Mm -hmm. So I. He's a brother, everyone. Relax pose. We don't need the thing. I want Michael Stray to think I smell good. Look at me. This is what's happened. We've become paranoid. He's a brother. He's like a brother. Jesus. (laughs) Anyways, I just want to smell good. Yeah. So I. Knew I stunk. I mean, it's just, I'm, I'm out there for four and a half hours. The sun's right on me. I'm right. And I did think about, you know what? I'll do some deodorant. But I was like, you know what? I've got the perfume bottle here. There's two minutes left on the clock. I know I'm getting my home. So I went, mm-hmm. 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 So along with 
when he looked at me, you think it was too much for a few? I head, think it's probably too much for a few. Yeah. <laughs> I, he was like, damn, this bitch has gotten older. I was like, wow, does she smell? That's way too much. Then I had spoken to Chris Jones, the you know, that week. Never had talked to him. What a great guy. Want him on the podcast so great. bad. I just ran up to him. I gave him a huge hug. I'm like, thank you so much for talking to me. He goes, what's that scent you're wearing? I'm like, <laughs> shit, Patrick, the whole thing. I put too much on. <laughs> Again, Patrick Mahomes never said any of this. These are all the games I play in my head. So New York Post, Us Weekly, if you're going to quote me and say, Patrick Mahomes thought this, that's not the case. Not what this said. is the storyline I have in my head. Okay, we're just going to take this one step further. I'll tell you, well, you know, oh, maybe we'll boy. save it for the big show. No, I will purposely sit on set and not go down onto the field because the lighting, oh, that was overhead stadium light in Superdome, not good. Stadium lighting's terrible unless you got a filler light. But the, on that set, they light me up like a Christmas tree. So, so I'm great. I, you look I great. Come, I'm only staying on the set. I'm like, oh, sorry, I'm attached. To, I can't come down there. No, because in those lights, superstar <laughs> down on the field. Happy Halloween. Chris Myers voice. You know, <laughs> I'm sorry. If I don't come on that field, you know why I want to stay under the lights. I, I don't think I, I needed bed the all other day. of the lights. I, I needed Rihanna, all of the lights in my Mahomes interview. I was like, he he was probably like, whoa. Patrick is so nice. I called he probably him the face wasn't. of the NFL. He, but, he's like, what happened to her face? But <laughs> knock it off. I got to tell you, somebody, you know, we talk about comments, how we don't normally like respond or listen because we'd be in a fetal position since 2009 if that yeah. was the case. Yesterday, yeah. I posted something right away or not right away. I had posted something and I went to open up Instagram and it was still on like the post page thing. So I refreshed it looking to get out of the whatever my own post but i couldn't overlook the guy this guy said something and it was like right after i posted it's like the first comment and he said how much surgery have you had or something and i said well i haven't God, had any yet enough. i said i haven't had any yet but i'm looking forward to that neck lift and i'll let you know when it happens <laughs> okay so if you want to make comments about how much surgery i've had i haven't had any i've had shitty botox we, we've gone through that before but we i can't have. wait for my neck lift yeah, people think I've had a nose job. I haven't had a nose job. I haven't had any oh. surgery on my face. People don't think I've had a nose job because my knees are big. You're so stupid. Can't okay. wait for that augmentation. Anyways, Mel Crab, <laughs> thank you so much for that question about our beautiful glow. Is the podcast <laughs> over? Oh my God. That was a long-winded answer. Sorry. Um, Anonymous. Dating a guy for six months and everything has been great. We take our first trip together. He's the only one who's given an upgrade and he takes it. Do I need to rethink this relationship? Steve? Steve? You just said, yeah. <laughs> There's a question about giving the upgrade to your girlfriend. Nothing. Um, for those of you that missed that episode of the Calm Down podcast, uh, Steve took the upgrade and sat in first class as I was in the first row of Comfort Plus and then proceeded to tell me that he was going to switch with me after the flight got started. And I was like, no, no, there's no switching after the flight got started. You left my ass in Comfort Plus and you took the first class seat. And don't think I obviously am never going to let him live that down. Ever. And here's the thing. He's it's actually like a very generous person. So I don't know what was going on with him that day. That was crazy behavior. He really wanted his Delta miles, I guess, whatever was happening. If this boyfriend of yours does not put you in first class and give you the upgrade, stop dating him. I don't know if you stop dating him. I think you definitely just make him pay for it with the verbal abuse. Like, well, that's and, what's and happening I don't here. mean like mean things. I mean like no, jokes 24-7 about it. Okay. I Great. do. Yep. So yeah, I do. So don't think with my Delta 360 that I don't say to Steve, oh, I'd love to have you in this new lounge, but mm, you're not a Delta 360. So when you wait your ass outside, see like you. I did in the first row of Comfort Plus. No. See you when I see you. See you when I see you. Mrs. Stormer, can we get an update on the bag situation for EA? Hopefully no more tampons flying out, uh, out and about. Mrs. Stormer, we have an update on the bag situation for Aaron, but as we do in this uh, business, it's a tease because our producer, Ryan, is going to tell us that this pregame is very heavy and we have about 30 seconds before we have to sign off. If you want to know what's happening with the bag, tune into the big show on Thursday. We have a bag update. We look like bags. Not the bags under, under my eyes. eyes, which I was trying to New bags. I was trying to conceal yesterday and it just got caked on and caked on and caked on. Whoa. 
Uh, bag update on the big show. Thank you guys for writing in. I don't think I can say this enough. We do really love these questions. And sometimes when we think to ourselves, like, oh, I don't really have anything to talk about on the podcast. We do. Thanks to you guys. My man. Oh, yeah. Calm Down with Aaron and Carissa is a production of iHeartRadio. For more podcasts from iHeartRadio, visit the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts.